but can you paint mm -hmm. a picture of Vegas in the 80s and, and how different was it from Vegas today? The surveillance. Mainly it's black and white cameras back then. They're not going to pick anything up until they zoom in. If you don't give them a reason to zoom in, they're not going to. And that's part of the psychology. We started, as I would say, ripping and tearing the casinos. So I literally was turned out by, in my opinion, the best who ever lived. And this guy was light years ahead of the casinos, not only in the moves, and the moves are important, but the psychology is much more important. If I would know what table I'm going to be at, and there's different ways, I don't want to go into that, but then I would go up to the break room when I'm on break. Uh, I think I dealt 45 minutes, 15 minute break. Back then there were no cell phones, go to the pay phone. I would call you, but I would disguise the call like playing the racquetball because I was actually playing racquetball. I'd say, hey, Damien, tomorrow I have a court at 8 a.m., court 10. That meant come in tonight at 8 p.m., table 10. So what you would actually do is come in about 15 minutes earlier, play against just a normal dealer. So now the boss sees you playing with dealer A. Then I know, you know, I go to table 10 because I'm supposed to. I'm not breaking any rules. Uh -huh. You are playing against me. We win. I leave. A new dealer comes in. You stay and play against him. So now the boss sees you playing against three dealers. So it doesn't look like you're targeting me. It's another part of the cycle.